your name, please? Tommy, Tommy Slick from Chicago, Illinois. All right, Tommy. So, you know, a lot of people are viewing you on uh, on uh, YouTube. Yeah. That incident in AC Transit. What yeah. do you think about all of this? Oh, it's a little overwhelming. A little overwhelming. I don't deserve all that attention. I'm just doing what's right. Huh? He was a murderer. I got a murderer off the streets. I feel good about that. He was wanted for murder. He did 18 years in the penitentiary. He's on parole. He's a pro violator. He's going to go back for 10 years for armed robbery and uh, assault and battery and, and possession of a knife while on parole so what, what, and theft. They stole my money and they right. stole my bag. Now, what, what, what started the whole... Uh, did, you it know, was my Stacy Adams shoes. I said, I'm going to have, I was talking to Bob, my white friend. Uh -huh. I'm going to my mother's funeral on Wednesday. I ain't got no money, and I'm borrowing money from Bob. And I said, Bob, can I get some shoes, some Stacy Adams? I want to wear them at my mama's funeral. I said, my boy, my boy is going to shine them for me. And then all of a sudden he come by. He said, why it got to be a white well, your boy got to shine them? I said, he said, you a racist? I said, no, I ain't no racist. I said, a boy could be anybody, man. It could be a man, it could be a, a girl, it could be anybody. And then I says, my brother. And he said, your brother? Why I got to be a brother, Shady? I said, listen, man, you a racist. I said, because white, green, yellow, and black is a brother to me. I ain't no talking about no black, man. For all you know, it's a Chinaman going to shine my shoes. So he said, shut the fuck up. You get me mad. I says, I don't give a fuck. And that's when we picked it up on the video. Right. You guys start fighting. No, not. Not yet. Uh, no, really? no. He, he you, said, right? you better go back up in the front because you're starting to piss me off. And I said, better be pissed off than pissed on, <laughs> you know. So I went to the front of the bus because I was getting real mad. And then I was getting scared when he showed me that knife. And then I heard the old girl say, get that nigga. And then she said, hit that old white man, hit him. And next thing you know, he suckered me in the jawbone, hit me three times in the face. And then I went, I said, you're going to get a Vietnam now, mother. And I whipped his butt so fast and so quick, so pretty. I hit him with the Muhammad Ali left, right, left. I did the Ali shuffle. And then I footballed him in the head. And then I stopped him. And he was knocked out for 22 and a half minutes. What's it called? Now, now uh, police, did they? Uh, they arrest? took me. They had, I put my weapon down. I had my shank on me in my pocket, my shank, I carry my, I'm 67, I'm a senior, so I'm entitled to carry a weapon. Right. They tried to rob me three times already in Oakland, so I had to shoot one of them with my pistol one night, and he ran like a sissy, but I never got caught for that, and then I had to fight a guy stabbing me one night. There's a lot of people writing comments saying you're a hero. How do you feel about all that? I ain't no hero, man. I'm a Vietnam veteran. My mama died. My mama died. I'm so sorry. My mama died. I'm sorry. Two days later, my mama died. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Well, you know, you had a lot of people, though, feel like, because, I mean, a lot of people are like, tired of this young generation being Beat so you up. and being disrespectful so when they saw this video on youtube they were like yeah vindication you know I old man old man beat up a young boy right. stabbing him with a knife a convict right. keep them convict murderers in jail why is he on the sidewalk gonna kill it behind him right. He shouldn't be on the sidewalk killing. If he killed one time, he should be locked up for 150 years. Do, we know, do you know if the police officers arrested him as well? They oh. did. He's going to the penitentiary for 10-year ten, violation maximum. Right. Minimum 10 years, and he's going to get another 20 for robbing me. He's going to get us three strikes. He's going to get 25 years to life as his third strike. He got three counts. Uh, did you get your stuff back from, because they took your Yes, stuff. the sheriff deputy returned it about three hours later. But they took my, I ain't, still ain't got my identification card. They stole that. So people, when you walk down the street, do people recognize who you are? Yeah, about 100 people uh, took yeah. my picture yesterday. And all the sheriff's deputy gave me rides and bought me coffee. Well, how do you feel about all that? I was happy to ride in the front seat of a squad car instead of the back. I, just, I did 14 years in prison when I was a youngster. When I got out of Vietnam, I was crazy, and I was selling drugs and uh, pimping and stuff. You know, with all this happening, what's your message to people? Don't fuck with old senior citizens. They'll surprise you once in a while. You might beat them once in a while, but they're going to get you every once in a while. He's going to come up and hurt you. Okay, thank you. Did you want to add anything else? Yeah, God bless America and stop the war, Mr. Obama. And I'm happy Bush is out of office. All right. Wonderful. Go ahead in the neighborhood. Okay, thank you.